as we gather our thoughts to pray, have you realized that God is a good God? And that's the reason why we come to Him. Whether we know it or we don't, something instinctively in us reaches out to God, especially in times of trouble. But there are two positions from which we pray. We either pray because we are revelation-driven or we are pain-driven. When it's a revelation, it is better. But let's start with the pain. People usually come to God because something is, uh, is gone wrong, there's pressure in their lives. And because of pressure, they call upon the name of the Lord, they pray. When they pray, interestingly, promises are activated because God already has promises before we came. He says, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. That's for individuals, that's for families, and that's for nations. God has amazing plans for nations. All the families of the earth shall be blessed. The people living in darkness. But the promises of God must be activated through prayer. And unfortunately, people never pray generally unless there's pain. But for these promises to be activated, we've got to bring them to God in prayer. And either we know about it and because of revelation we respond and come to God or we stumble into it simply because there's pain and pressure and something in us begins to call up upon the Lord. So if it's pain, then prayer, then promises are activated and provision comes. But unfortunately, once provision comes, people then forget God. Once they forget God, unfortunately also, they become worse than when they had not prayed yet. They simply forget. In fact, the Bible says, and when you have eaten and are full, remember the Lord your God. Lest you say, it's my own power and own might that has given me the wealth. And that's unfortunately what happens usually. Once people have heard a season of pain and there were groanings and prayers, and God's activated promises began to bring provisions, they soon forget when things are easy and life is going on and they're eating and they are full, life is going on easy, they tend to forget God. But there's a better place from which to pray and activate the good promises of God. It is from a place of revelation. Remember what Daniel said? He says, I, Daniel, understood according to the word of the Lord given to Jeremiah that the slavery would last 70 years. So I turned towards the Lord with fastings and prayer. When people come to God through a revelation, Notice that their prayers will have repentance. And repentance is very important. That's what Daniel did. He began to repent on behalf of himself and the nation. So it's re re revelation, then there's repentance. And from repentance comes release. Release from bondage, release from curses, release from uh, ignorance, release from every satanic thing that tries to suppress us. And release of resources, release of God's abundance into our lives. So it's revelation, repentance, release. Then once the children of Israel out of Babylon were released from slavery, they were released with resources that they may return to their place and rebuild the temple that they may live in revival that they may return to a place where they live in a place in the presence of God. That's the highest for God. For God for us, for the nations, is not just provision, it is the presence to live in the place of revival. That's where we belong. And I pray that we may rise up again to have a realization, a revelation that God has great things for us. God wants us to go back to where we belong. So there's revelation of this great God and His goodness to us and then there's repentance genuine repentance to turn away from going downwards into an upward place an upward trajectory that's where we belong and then from there there will be a release of everything God has in store for us that's the prophecy of God coming alive and then from there we shall live in his presence in the place of revival Hosea says that let us seek the Lord today and tomorrow on the third day he will revive us 
that we may live in his presence. We need the revelation of what God has for us so that we may pray prayers that are filled with repentance. Repentance has got to do with returning to the place where we belong. Repent again and to a high place. God wants us up there. We belong to the high place. We belong to God. We belong to the high standard of God. And when we repent and sins are forgiven, then we are released from the bondage of sin and condemnation and and idolatry and because of that released repent and uh, resources are brought back into our lives and we can move into the revival that God has for us what shall be ours are we going to just come to God because of pain pray and then promises are activated and provision comes or are we going to catch the revelation that there's something bigger than just provision that's living in his presence that's ultimately the revival God said to Moses and to the chin of Israel see what I did to the Egyptians how I carried you on eagles wings and brought you to myself the highest with God was not just deliverance from trouble and the provision of the liberty they so desired it was good it was legitimate but there was something higher for God was for them to live in his presence to live in that beautiful space where they can enjoy the presence in his presence is fullness of joy dear friend I want us to begin to pray I want us to go into that place where we say Lord I recognize you want me to come to you I repent of my sins and Lord I thank you that you will release me from everything that's binding me right now be it witchcraft be it laziness be it satanic manipulation be it whatever it is be it whatever that is trying to hold you back so that you don't fulfill your destiny I want you to know that it is possible to be released from that and the resources shall be released as well that we may live in his presence don't just get satisfied that you're out of problems but let your pursuit be his presence that's where we belong and God bless you amen